Well, the prosecution rested its case Friday against a man being tried in the first degree murder of a police officer, Marcus McNeil, back in 2017. Investigative reporter Mike Perlstein has been covering that trial and recaps today's testimony. Testimony and evidence today in the case against Darren Bridges in the fatal shooting of New Orleans police officer Marcus McNeil included the jury seeing the cocaine and pills that prosecutors say was found in Bridges' Pokemon backpack and a long account by a police investigator into how the 7th District Task Force officers crossed paths with Bridges. The jury also heard about the violent confrontation that cost McNeil his life and led another officer to shoot Bridges as he fled but it was a grainy security camera video clip lasting about 15 seconds that seemed to capture the essence of the case. In the video, the jury saw McNeil and Bridges tussling next to a car. McNeil can be seen falling to the ground, and in a split second before Bridges runs away, he aims his gun and appears to fire one more bullet toward the officer's head. The prosecution team, led by District Attorney Jason Williams, have been calling the October 2017 killing an execution. Defense attorneys have portrayed something else entirely. Officers looking for another man when McNeil grabbed Bridges from behind as he tried to get home, then tased him twice as the two struggled. Bridges himself was shot twice, his blood leading officers to where he was found in his apartment, his gun hidden in a boot. A 12-person jury will be left to determine Bridges' guilt or innocence. But one brief witness today left no doubt that this was a tragedy. McNeil's mother took the stand and spoke briefly about her son, a St. Augustine High School graduate who worked as a literary coach for grade schoolers before signing up to be a cop. Jason Williams asked her, did he tell you why he wanted to be a police officer? Kimberly McNeil answered, he told me because he wanted to help the community. Williams, did he like it? McNeil. He loved it. Mike Perlstein, Eyewitness News. Well, the trial is set to resume Monday when it will be the defense team's turn to present its witnesses. Closing arguments and jury deliberations are expected to begin Tuesday after final testimony from the pathologist and the case.